You are now tuned in to a Black Girl Therapy special feature. Okay, so I'm here with me, Miss Kyra McCullough, Miss USA. She's back on the campus of South Carolina State University. How does it feel to be back? It's good. It's actually so heartwarming. This is my home. I actually grew a lot up here, so I'm just so thankful to be back home in both our country. Okay, cool. So, um, what has SC State done to prepare you to be where you are now? Hmm. It's a good question because the, the beautiful thing about HBCU is that although majority of the school looks like you, there's still diversity. So having that aspect um, where people are able to look like you and you're able to like mature in that sense, so you get all this strength built up inside of you so that when you do propel from this campus, no one can stop you. No one can tell you that you're not good enough. You know deep down in your heart that you have a big group of people that are supporting you and they know they believe in you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, yes. So you have such a, a big platform now where you could really put out any message that you would like. So what is something that you really want to uh, get out to the public as far as like something you really stand on and believe in? Definitely. So it's like two th twofold almost. So um, beauty and brains don't have to be mutually exclusive. Actually praise your accomplishments and don't be afraid to do that. And additionally, science and math is actually fun and interacting. So I have a STEM program called Science Exploration for Kids. And I focus on that with so many students, teaching them that you may struggle with a subject right now, but that is not where you're going to stop. We have to have the growth mindset. We have to prepare for things, and we have to be persistent. So those are the messages I'm definitely trying to get across. Okay, mm -hmm. so I was just on your Instagram, and I've seen that you are going to be running for Miss Universe. Yes. So what are you doing now to prepare for that? Things like this, you know, casual conversations with you know interviewers trying to go to the gym trying to stay away from chocolate chip cookies and stickers <laughs> little things like that but really the, the my main priority is making sure like I'm mentally sane so I, I'm always calming down I'm always telling myself Kyra like just, just live in the moment you know it's all about the experience no matter what goes down like life goes on and I know that God has a plan regardless so I'm just thankful for this opportunity so this is homecoming. Have you had a chance to enjoy any homecoming events or has it just been like all work? It's been majority work. I'm not going to admit that I've been, you know, enjoying homecoming because I'm on my work hours right now. Okay. But there's no footage out there of me either. So, okay. no, of course, I'm out here enjoying time with you all. So after um, halftime, I'll be out there tailgating. So make sure someone pulls up the hush puppies for me as well as the uh, pride whiting. Okay, <laughs> yes. I'm so glad I got to talk to you. Too. Thank so you. Great. I'm Thank happy you. for you. Thank you. <laughs>